This is a tutorial on how to use BitMEX. BitMEX is a Bitcoin derivatives exchange. It allows you to trade futures contracts. All profits are locked in and denominated in Bitcoins, and you can only withdraw and deposit Bitcoins onto this exchange. That said, um, because these are synthetic future contracts, you can get exposure to other cryptocurrencies, um, as well as trading a contract that's similar to the Bitcoin USD market. So the very first thing that you're going to want to do is click the link below this video because by using this link you're going to save about 10% off of six months worth of trading fees. And fees do add up if you do trade frequently. So uh, it's important to save as much money as you can on that. Once you uh, once you register an account, you're going to obviously going to make sure you have a strong password. And the very first thing you want to do is come over here to account and security and activate two-factor authentication. I just generally use Google Authenticator. Um, so you take a picture of this QR code from the Google Authenticator app and then you submit the code that it gives you. Um, this acts as like a secondary password. Let's say someone were to crack your password. Uh, they can't get access to your account without actually physically controlling your phone. So once you have all that set up, you can just go ahead and uh, deposit money into your, your deposit address. Uh, it takes about one confirmation for it to show up. And the very first thing we're going to talk about is their most liquid market, which is the uh, Bitcoin perpetual swap. Now this gives you up to 50x leverage, but you have to be very careful with leverage because obviously the more leverage you use, the less wiggle room you have for the price to move against you. Um, so use it use it sparingly, but you can go up to 50x leverage. Um, these contracts operate as a perpetual swap. And so what they did is they made these contracts to kind of mimic regular margin trading, like the type of thing you would see on, uh, on Bitfinex. So one contract is equivalent to a dollar worth of Bitcoin. So if I were to put in, you know, 585 contracts, um, it would show my order value as, as uh, you know, pretty close to one Bitcoin, right? So that's that's pretty much the same as you'd see on, on other exchanges. Um, you have all the other features as other exchanges, such as placing a market order, which will just execute your, your price at the, the best market price. Uh, limit order, which is, you know, will execute uh, at the price that you set. And then you can set stops, you know, stop limit, stop market, and uh, trailing stops. So it gives you all those features similar to, to other exchanges. Um, one thing that's different is that um, you can either use cross leverage or you can isolate leverage, right? Cross will just allow you to to put whatever amount you want up to what what you're capable of, of uh, maxing out your leverage. So um, isolated leverage. So this, if you just keep it on cross, it'll just operate normally, right? And you, you can you could just basically put in whatever uh, leverage you want. So you know, if you were to put in you know five fifty eight hundred dollars worth, it'll show you exactly what the order value is. So that'll show us roughly nine Bitcoins. Um, it's not gonna show me what my leverage is, how much leverage that I'm using because I don't have anything deposited in this account. It's just a test account. Um, or you could use isolated leverage. And what isolated leverage will do is it will, it will take your order and it will, it'll isolate it from the rest of your account, right? So it'll act as if, if you do like 10X, and um, let's say you have, let, let me give you an example here. Let's say you have, um, let's say you have one Bitcoin in your account, right? Let's just keep this simple. And you were to do 10X on $50 worth of Bitcoin. Well, your one Bitcoin would, would give you, you know, um, $586 worth of Bitcoin. Um, if you were to if you were to buy 50 contracts that would isolate that 50 contracts from the rest of your account and act as if you went 10x on that so you know if the market moves against you 
uh, certain percentage that that those 50 contracts will get liquidated but it, it won't damage the rest of your account so it's it's almost kind of like setting a, a stop order in a sense um, maybe maybe even tighter than a than a stop order personally myself I just use cross and you know I, I just put whatever leverage I, I want um, so the perpetual swap contracts the way the way those work is um, they do have fees uh, funding fees similar to margins and the way that works is that margin longs pay the swap fees to margin shorts right short positions so you could you could actually build a strategy around that so for example if the market ever goes uh, parabolic or becomes overextended and you get a really nice short entry um, and you and you get to hold it for a long time you could actually earn some passive income um, by by collecting this swap fees so not only would you be in a trade but you'd also be accruing um, fees and those fees are paid three times a day pretty much every eight hours these uh, these perpetual swap contracts also do have a daily settlement time um, usually futures contracts as you can see here in this one uh, usually futures contracts will have a, a, a date where they settle and that's when the contract closes with perpetual swap your your position will stay open just like it would with um, you know regular margin trading the only difference is that your realized profit and loss will be locked in every day at uh, 12 p.m. coordinated universal time right so you know if you're in a, a really good position you could actually start to lock in profit um, you know every day on that on that position so basically so that's the perpetual swap 50 50 X um, you also have these longer futures contracts so this one expires on the 30th of September the 25th so this is a bit different um, you don't pay any of the swap fees every day you you basically just um, you know you go long or short and then it, it settles and uh, it'll show you kind of the, uh, the the settlement price right the index price and they do that on, uh, on based on a weighted average right so they'll, they'll actually calculate that to make it fair so that people don't try to game the system um, by you know pumping the market before a settlement date or dumping stuff like that they'll do it as a weighted average across multiple different exchanges and so you also have other markets as well you have uh, you could trade Bitcoin against the yen uh, you could trade ethereum the ethereum trading operates just the same way you would trade on um, on any other exchange it's just the price of ethereum paired against Bitcoin and they offer up to 33.3 leverage they also have ethereum classic which offers uh, 10x leverage and uh, these these uh, these settle every Friday um, the, the Ethereum ones are a perpetual swap, so they're similar to the ones we showed before. Litecoin is also a perpetual swap. Lisk, same thing, perpetual swap. Factum, 10x leverage, perpetual swap. Then they have, um, you can trade on the Chinese markets, although there's, there's not a lot of activity happening here, so I, I haven't really bothered trading that. And uh, they have this Bitfinex token. So the, the tokens that Bitfinex issued out as a result of uh, getting hacked, you could speculate on those without actually needing to purchase any of that debt or those tokens. And um, you know those those expire in, in August, and they offer 2.5x leverage with that. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. That's that's Bitmex in a nutshell. You also um, that's so that's how you would trade on it. You also have a a uh, chat box right here, troll box, and you know usually um, Bitmex Sam's on here, so you can ask any questions you want or make comments.
talk with other traders. Um, you know, you, you also have positions, so it'll show your, your positions, the size, value, entry price, a mark price, you know, what the, what the, um, what the market price is right now. Uh, the liquidation price, you know, if you're if you're using leverage, the market moves past you, past a certain uh, point at your liquidation price, then you'll you'll get liquidated and your position will get closed out and you'll lose money. So you want to make sure that you don't get liquidated. Um, you know, it'll show you it'll show you your unrealized profit, uh, profit and loss, your realized profit and loss, and um, you know your closed position so you can also look at your closed positions here um, whatever active orders you have your stop orders and your order history all that all that stuff so hope you enjoyed the video um, feel free to click the link at the bottom of the video open up an account test it out I recommend you know when you're when you're just starting off um, just practice with small amounts to become familiar with this before um, you know, before trading size. Also, if you um, if you're you have any questions about anything, they also have a whole bunch of tutorials here. So they've got their their margin trading guides and, and everything here, and uh, and support is also very helpful. So hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.